Atangana, welcome to the Atangana show, our English version. My name is Hugo Savilovich, and we are so happy to be with you guys. Tonight we are uh, from Connecticut. We could not make it back to New York City. We were bringing back the, the grandkids, and it was so much traffic. But we wanted to do the show, and here we are, a lot of news. And we want to say hello to all our friends uh, from Sports Kita Wrestling, uh, from the World Wrestling Network, from the Pro Wrestling World, and Wrestling Rumors. Also, Mas Lucha Mexico, WWE Latinoamérica, Ecuador, Pasión WWE Paraguay, WWE Humor Guatemala, Queremos WWE Chile, Planeta Wrestling España, WWE World Fans Perú, Caín WWE Colombia, Solo para Fanáticos de la WWE Bolivia, Suplex Chile, WWE Universo Latino Ecuador, WWE Nación Mundial, Honduras y República Dominicana, WWE es mi pasión, El Salvador, y por supuesto, of course, Lucha Libre Online. Here we go. This is a tangent of the show, and let's start off with the news. Last night, while we were watching SmackDown, a live show was taking place in uh, Madison Square Garden. Uh, they had cage matches, they had a cage match. They also had uh, Roman Reigns in the main event facing John Cena. It was a solid match, and John Cena uh, was defeated by Roman Reigns. So uh, right off the bat, we, we have a, a beautiful example of what it is to do the right thing. And John Cena did the right thing. Uh, both men gave the fans at the Garden a tremendous uh, wrestling match. And that's the right thing, John Cena putting over... Roman Reigns, and I, I say that because recently Triple H excused himself, uh, like uh, when he beat uh, Roman Reigns, not when not he beat Roman Reigns, when he, he put over Roman Reigns in the Middle East tour in Dubai, but when he went to India, he beat Jinder uh, Mahal, wow. and he was saying he did that because Jinder was not ready. That is the opposite thing. That's when you, you make him be ready by putting him over in a country that symbolizes over one billion wrestling customers or wrestling fans. So the, the show was uh, very solid at the Garden and uh, also uh, the, it, was not a, it was not sold out. The Garden was not sold out, but it was a very solid, uh, solid show. So we want to say hello to all our friends that are right here with us. If we have any comments, my wife is with us, the Dangerous Blonde Diana. Say hello to the fans, Diana. Hi, how y'all doing? Um, so glad to be with you another Wednesday night. So very cold here in New York City. We're live from, we're actually from Connecticut, as my husband said. We're in Connecticut right now. Um, Forrest Patterson wants to know, is Goldberg, is Goldberg coming back next year? Uh, he has let uh, Vince and the WD know that he is ready. Uh, he loved what he did. He was very, very happy with, uh, with his run. And, and not just that, I believe that he, in a lot of ways, he, he's a different Goldberg, and he, uh, he knows that every time he has a chance to going back into WWE or a big showcase, it's, uh, you know, it could be one of his last times. We do not know when he's going to be his retirement, so anytime that Goldberg has the opportunity of going into the ring, uh, it's fantastic for him. He, he ha has uh, uh, stated that it's been a delight going back into the ring. And I believe that uh, there, there's a different uh, emotion within him. I think that he has grown even more. Uh, yes, he is the legend that, that World Championship Wrestling uh, constructed, that built. But I believe that he knows that WWE, it's also cemented more. Uh, uh, his, his fame, his name, even though we all know that he's, you know, he's, he's famous, but... Uh, when you achieve that same recognition in WWE, it's like the whole world knows who you are. Even if you're Goldberg, it doesn't hurt you to be on the WWE. And also, the fact that he was able to be the Universal Champion and have that uh, uh, match with uh, Brock Lesnar, I believe that uh, that was very good for, for, for Goldberg. And uh, the doors are wide open. According to what we have heard, let's go with more comments, Diana. Um, with us is Paul, is Bishop Paul Ramos. Yes, that's one of our spiritual sons, Bishop Paul Ramos. God bless you, Bishop, from Diana and Hugo. We love you, and, and Pastor uh, Pastora Wendy. We 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 love you very much. Uh, Stephen James Hooper says, "Why is CM Punk getting name again in WWE?" Good, good question. And often I have I have stated that we have the opportunity of doing this in Spanish. 
And some of our shows, we, we get over 3,000 comments from people from all over the world. And, and, and the fans, they want to see CM Punk back. But uh, some people are saying, oh, it's just Hugo talking about it. It's some fans talking about it. When Elias said it in the ring, when, when that becomes an intellectual property of WWE and, and one of their talents, uh, speaks and says something about CM Punk also being in Chicago. Uh, Royal Rumble, is, it's around the corner. We're going to be talking about the first ever female Royal Rumble. Also, the probabilities for the Royal Rumble and what's going to happen on those dates. But just having CM Punk's name mentioned in Chicago could open uh, 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 the, the door. I believe he is needed in the WWE. Let's go with more uh, more. Uh, comments, Diana? Amir Wilson wants to know, who are you? Uh, my name is Hugo Savinovich. I was a Spanish uh, play-by-play -play announcer for WWE for 17 years, also a producer, and I helped with the international markets when programs were going to be presented and opening up markets like in Russia, China, and other places. I would, I would train some of the announcers, also the producers. At one point, I was also with Tom Carlucci, the producer of uh, a legendary Spanish show that aired in Univision. Uh, it was called WWF Super Astros. I've also been uh, producing and done uh, English pay-per-views, Spanish pay-per-views with Triple in Mexico. Recently, I did uh, Crash Lucha Libre. I am the executive producer for Wrestling Superstar in Chile. I am also the executive producer for New Generation Championship Wrestling, which uh, this February 24th, uh, we're going to have uh, Alberto El Patron, Alberto Del Rio against Carrillo Caribbean Cool to crown our first champion of New Generation Championship Wrestling. Badass Billy Gunn will be facing also the giant Snitsky and many, many more, uh, including uh, the match of Badass Billy Gunn against Snitsky. In a, everything goes, it's an attitude-style uh, match. And all of this is the 24th of February in the, on the Fire, Frog, uh, Frog Stadium? Fire Frog Stadium in Kissimmee, in Kissimmee Florida. Kissimmee, Florida. And, and uh, Santana Garrett will be in action and other superstars. Uh, so I am the executive producer. You also did the, commentaries for Lucha Underground for yes, the first season. The, yeah, you could find me in Netflix in a, doing the Spanish uh, commentary the for first the first season. season of Lucha Underground with uh, Vampiro, Vampiro Canadiense. Okay, Michael Joplin wants to know if there's any chance of Omega coming to WWE next year. Uh, they missed a big opportunity uh, on that past Royal Rumble. I was able to contract Kenny Omega when John Cena was mentioning his name for the past Royal Rumble, and we had him in our wrestling company in Chile. Kenny Omega uh, was down there uh, with uh, Sandy, uh, uh, what, what's the name of uh, the, 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 other, the other wrestler that we brought down to Chile? Uh, well, it, it, it's I can't. my memory right now. But we had, we had uh, Omega in Chile, and uh, totally missed out on contracting him. The doors are always open when you have great talent, and, and speaking of that, uh, Wrestle Kingdom uh, 12 already has gone over the 30,000 uh, uh, tickets sold. And that Jericho Omega match, it's a big, big attraction. And hopefully we'll be able to cover it for you. And you will have the uh, English report of the Wrestle Kingdom 12 right here in this uh, pages. So let's go with more comments there. Huh? Samuel Bush wants to know, is Vince going to give WWE to Triple H? I, I don't think so. I don't think right now the creative part, it's, it's, it's been solid. I, I do understand that it's a family-operated business, but uh, uh, I believe that uh, Vince cannot retire yet and that somebody else besides Vince has to have the power to control creative, including Triple H and Seth McMahon and the director, Kevin Dunn. As we have noted, it hasn't been the stellar performance of creative, even though uh, Raw Monday was much better and uh, SmackDown did much better. Very happy with, uh, with Monday and Tuesday uh, Raw's uh, show and also SmackDown. Jack Herrick wants to know, will Daniel Bryan wrestle again in WWE or do you think he will go to New Japan? Uh, well, if WWE doesn't let him wrestle, he will be in one of those companies, New Japan, Ring of Honor, uh, or, or Impact Wrestling. Uh, but I believe that something is happening. I don't like to go with the spoilers, so uh, I, I will just mention the fact how good the storyline is going between Daniel Bryan and Shane. I think that is fantastic. Also, the good job that uh, on the SmackDown, the Blue Show, they have done with the Dolph Ziggler. Everybody's talking about 
Dolph Ziggler, as, as you know, now they have the, they had the first round to crown the new United States champion. So when people start asking, is this it for Dolph Ziggler? What's going to happen? And with big events coming up around the corner, like a Royal Rumble or a WrestleMania, it just makes you think that the immense possibilities of so many things that could be added to the storyline. But look out for Dolph Ziggler. I think this is his moment. Oh, so Justin Nickel wants to know, when is Punk coming back? CM Punk, like we stated, uh, I believe that Vince, throughout the years, has surprised a lot of people. When he hired Eric Bishop uh, uh, to be manager of, uh, general manager of Raw, many people could not believe it, as you know. Uh, uh, he was kicking our butt when we were doing our shows uh, uh, of WWF, WWE, the Monday Night Wars, uh, Ted Turner and Bishop were kicking our butt every Monday night on those Monday Night Wars, and he was insulting Vince, challenging Vince personally. But when it comes to business, Vince McMahon has always shown the ability to separate any personal issues from business. And business comes first, and that's why I think that we have the opportunity of seeing great things. Anthony Key says hello from Danville, Kentucky. Kentucky, in the house. Once again, we're very... Happy for all fans to be with us, Sports Kita Wrestling, the World Wrestling Network, the Pro Wrestling World, Wrestling Rumors, Mas Lucha Mexico, WWE Latino America, Pasión WWE, WWE uh, Humor, Queremos WWE Chile, Planeta Wrestling España, WWE World Fans Perú, Caín WWE, Solo para Fanáticos de la WWE Bolivia, Suplex Chile, WWE Universo Latino Ecuador, WWE Nación Mundial, Honduras y República Dominicana, and Dolly is me passion El Salvador. We have all this relationship, these alliances with these huge wrestling pages in Facebook, and it gives us the opportunity of finding out what, what the world is talking about from their fans, from India to Russia to Australia, uh, United States, obviously, the Caribbean, Latin America, and, and every week we have more, than, uh, I believe we have around 6,000 comments in our live uh, Facebook. So we have a big map uh, when it comes to the taste, uh, what the fans like, their reactions, and, and nobody knows wrestling better than, than their customers. You guys, the, the, the wrestling fans. John Lake uh, asks, why do you think Ken Shamrock hasn't been asked to come back? Uh, I don't think you have, you have been hearing that much from Ken Shamrock. I, I don't think there's any heat with him. I just think right now, when you have a Brock Lesnar, who was the UFC champion there, uh, I, I don't, I don't know if you want to go that way unless you're planning to do something uh, UFC style with a Lesnar and Shamrock in the WWE. If you're not, then you are you're not doing the right thing. Everything is about the right timing, and and for, for it to work. You have to execute the right storyline. Let's go with more comments, Diana. Tony Smith wants to know, why did you leave, did you leave WWE? You were good. Uh, thank you very much. It was 17 years. And as you know, companies at one time or another, they, they decide that it's time for them to move on and do something in a different way, which, which I, I will always be grateful for WWE. Uh, I bless them every day. Uh, there's no heat. And, and uh, I'm always rooting for uh, WWE. And rooting for every wrestling company. We are pro uh, the wrestling business. We're pro wrestling fans. And that's what we do. That's why I, 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 I stay active. Uh, we, we, we stay active doing our wrestling deals. We we're currently working on a deal with Panama. We move around. We, we, we're doing uh, talking business with the Crash. Lucha Libre. And like I said to you guys, I am the executive producer of Wrestling Superstar of Chile. We were the ones that had those big, big cards with... Mysterio, Mysterio Mania, the, the Young Bucks against the Hardys and all those great bouts, including Rob Van Dam in South America. We were that company. I'm helping another company. A friend of mine has Imperio Lucha Libre in Peru. So I'm all over the place. I help to create the, the professional uh, group in Ecuador, my homeland, that is called War. Uh, um, so I've been around. I did 15 years of building wrestling in Puerto Rico at the time where that company was one of the top wrestling companies in the world. So I stay active. I love the, the wrestling business, and I love I, I love sharing these experiences with you guys. John Connor says hi. Hello. Connor. Also, Eddie Valerio says hello from New York. I New love. New York City in the house. He says I love this show. Do you think that WWE is overcrowded with too many talent, and they don't really know how to use them? 
I, I don't think they're overcrowded with too many talent because right now they have a three hour show on Monday. They have two hours on SmackDown. They have the other shows. And obviously, you know that now NXT has its own uh, time slot. It's not about having too much talent. It's about how to use them correctly. And that has been the key uh, to success. Vince has done it amazingly well. But it's time to get back on the groove. And I think with the New Japan Pro Wrestling Wrestle Kingdom Club uh, coming around uh, uh, and how successful it has been, uh, Publicity-wise, everybody's talking about Jericho against Omega and the fact that he signed for another extra match the next day and uh, that Mark Cuban is happy to, I believe, to expand more on his network, the English uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling Show. And who knows, if uh, this could be a game-changer if Mark Cuban decides that he wants to own his own wrestling company in the United States Remember, he, he goes from the Shark Tank into being the owner of the Dallas Mavericks in the NBA. He's a visionary, and that's the danger part. The dangerous part, because he is, in many ways, like Vince McMahon. They know how to take the advantage of the of the moment. Let's go with more comments, Diana. A Town Perry wants to know if Goldberg is coming back. Uh, we stated that a few minutes uh, ago about the fact that he has said, Goldberg has said to WWE that, that he's, he wants to come back. Uh, he doesn't want to do it in full time, but he wants to do a couple of more storylines. Goldberg has a lot of fans, and I, I believe that when you have Goldberg on storylines, it, it's, it's name recognition. It's a lot of fans that remember all the, 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 on the, the, the undefeated streak of, of Goldberg, his uh, Monday Night Nitro victories, and his return to WWE and the battles, even though it was a short storyline. But I believe that Goldberg is good, good for, the, for the business. Luke Joseph says, good day from Tasmania. Tasmania in the house. Is that the first time we have somebody from Tasmania? Yep. All right. Thank you for being uh, with us. Uh, and let's go with more comments. Um, on. This is Mike from Newark, New Jersey. And he says, can you see Stone Cold Steve Austin coming back? Uh, the fact is that uh, he's, he's been injured. Remember since that uh, uh, incident with, with the Powell driver of, of, of Owen Hart? Uh, he, he was never the same. And with Stone Cold Steve Austin, it's a, it's a fact of, uh, uh, that Stone Cold will not wrestle any other way but the reckless Stone Cold Austin 316. And he cannot protect himself uh, uh, with, with, with the health problems, the neck. Uh, he cannot protect himself because he is just a guy that goes all the way. That is Austin 360. Envious Julio Domingo Estrada says hello from warm Florida. Wow. I bet you're sweating your butt off. I bet you wish <laughs> you were here in the cold. <laughs> Rico, Rico Suave from the yeah. legendary wow. Estrada family. His father was uh, Jet Set Jose Estrada, the first light heavyweight champion of the uh, WWF. He was also one of the super medics with the Hall of Famer Johnny Rocks, the super medics that I managed in Puerto Rico, one of the top tag teams, Rico Suave. A manager and a, and, a, and, 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 and a very solid wrestler for the Caribbean Wars. Uh, send us a little bit of heat. We need it. Uh, Rich Corpus says hello from, from Flint, Flint, Michigan. Flint, Michigan in the house. More Mo comments, Diana? Mohammed Azim says good morning good, from India. Good morning to you, my friend in India. And we, ha we have been stated how you guys in India are, are, are the power behind uh, what could be the greatest market for WWE, and that I was very upset about the fact that Triple H uh, uh, defeated Jinder Mahal in India. I thought that was a bad, bad decision. Our friend Sports Kita were sponsors of, the, of, of that wrestling card in, in India. Thank you for being with us. Good morning to you. And I remind the fans that I am the executive producer of uh, New Generation Championship Wrestling, February 24th at the Fire Frog uh, stadium in Kissimmee, Florida. Our main event is going to be Alberto El Patron, who was known as Alberto Del Rio, against Carlito, known in WWE as Carlito Caribbean Cool, to crown our first, our first world champion. We will have also badass Billy Gunn against the giant Snitsky in a battle, attitude, era, style, everything goes, and we will, we will have other top, top uh, talents in that uh, card, including Santana Garrett and many more stars Coming down to Lucha Conquest 2, the saga continues and tickets could be bought at Epico with a K, Epico with a K, 
Magazine.com. Epicomagazine.com. February 24th, I am the executive producer for New Generation Championship Wrestling. It's going to be a blast. We're going to have the International Cup featuring uh, superstars like Mecha Wolf 450. Uh, uh, and uh, we we have Laredo, uh, Laredo Kid and... Uh, and missing somebody else on 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 that card. It's it's gonna be a, a international uh, cup match that is gonna be fantastic. And Sumbi, Sumbi uh, of of Brazil, of Brazil. Uh, the international lucha cup, and just fantastic matches coming down your way. And the son of Dos Caras. Oh, son of Dos Caras, the brother of Alberto El Patron, hijo de Dos Caras, will be teaming up with Rebel Noriega to face Ecuadorian Panther and. Uh, Boricua Guerrero plus many more stars and uh, that is uh, the show coming down to Kissimmee and uh, I am the executive producer of New Generation Championship Wrestling. Let's go with more comments. Edgar Melendez says hello from Orlando, Florida. Daryl McGee, Alabama says hello. Alabama in the house. Let's talk about Royal Rumble too. Let's go with more comments. Jonah Kalani says aloha from Hawaii. Hawaii in the house. Wow, what a blessing. We have um, Johnny Arteaga Ministry. We have the oh, prophet, Johnny Arteaga from, from Colombia. Colombia. God bless you. What a tremendous man of God. Thank you for being with us. One more comment, Diana. Dan Clark wants to know, will CM Punk ever return? That is like the... That, that is the million dollar the, yeah. question. And I believe that he is gold. I think just the storyline of what Vince did to fire him on his honeymoon. I mean, if you talk about storylines that are great, like the one he did with Hulk Hogan, uh, and burned into the, into the storyline of wrestling. As a matter of fact, on the WrestleMania 19, I was the, the announcer at the table when Vince McMahon uh, ducked and uh, Hulk Hogan hit me with a chair on WrestleMania 19. So I believe there is a big opening for this CM Punk and Vince McMahon storyline. I think CM Punk could make WWE millions of dollars, at least two solid years of a big push while Roman Reigns gets stronger and the other top talents become even even more uh, big, bigger stars. Ulysses Borrero says, I will try to be there to the show in, in, in Florida. The, he's living in Killeen, Texas. All right, it's going to be a fantastic show. We have the meet and greet. And uh, it's just a fantastic show. We have great, great matches. Valentina Isai Luzon says hello from the Bronx. The Bronx in the house. So he, he asks, Hugo, do you think that The Undertaker versus Sting can still happen at Mania? Uh, I don't think it could happen. Sting uh, said to himself that while there was the opportunity, uh, and many people thought that it was Vince McMahon that didn't want this match to happen. And Sting revealed that it was, it was uh, The Undertaker that was not interested in having that match. Why? We do not know. Perhaps one day he will. He, the Undertaker, would will tell us. But remember, the Undertaker is one of the few few people that have control of his character. Uh, I say few people because the Stone Cold did have that. Vince will not give that to any any anyone else. I believe that the 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 the, the last one uh, was uh, the Undertaker and. Uh, uh, he's not coming back to her. He will be part of the 25th anniversary of the legendary Raw brand. Uh, so uh, uh, that's my answer. It's not It's not going to happen because The Undertaker didn't want it to happen when he was wrestling. And I don't think he will be able to wrestle anymore. He's been injured, hip problems and other issues. And I think that when he left the hand in the ring in WrestleMania and he put over Roman Reigns, that was the, the, that was the end. The end of The Undertaker. The icon, the, the, the one of the the greatest wrestlers in WWE history. I mean, he's he's done it all. There's no need for him to do anything else. Jonathan Jung Jr. says, I got to see Carlito when he was in ICW. Also, um, Rich Corpus says, your thoughts on Jericho versus Omega at the Tokyo Dome? Wow, already over 30,000 tickets sold. Uh, Jericho has become... Uh, uh, a genius in, in, in uh, inside the ring, outside the ring. I mean, a talented musician, great with the mic, but also he's become a man of 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 a, a vision of knowing how to sell uh, his product from the bestseller book that he wrote to anything he touches, and uh, he has put New Japan Pro Wrestling in another level. For years, uh, Triple H's uh, Triple Mania card 
was uh, the second one after WrestleMania because of the biggest network, uh, Televisa, having that show aired and also got a vision in the United States, the potential also on their YouTube channel, and because they, they run over 800 shows a year. But with a lot of the talents moving away from uh, uh, AAA and uh, a lot of other situations, uh, with the last year's uh, Wrestle Kingdom and with this year's uh, Jericho against Omega, uh, even though the years of tradition is still in favor of uh, AAA's Mexico uh, Triple Mania show, I believe that with this year, uh, uh, it has, AAA has been surpassed by New Japan Pro Wrestling with this event, Wrestle Kingdom 12. Mohammed Asim says, all the best, sir. Billy Gunn versus Nisky is awesome. And John Doe wants to know who is actually Boricua Guerrero, and he's from Missouri. Uh, yes, Missouri. Bor Boricua Guerrero is one of my creations. He is uh, the, the, uh, he's one of my, 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 my vision for him. Uh, he has uh, uh, one of the best teachers in the business, Pablo Marquez from the main event uh, Center in uh, Fort Lauderdale, one of the best wrestling instructors. He is m my official instructor for my wrestling companies. And we are creating with Brico Guerrero not just a superhero for the ring and the storylines in the ring, but also for him to go and speak, especially in the Florida area, to, to the youth that are doing, uh, uh, you know, that are involved in, in drugs, in gangs. So there is a bigger picture for Brico Guerrero, but storyline, uh, he, he, He's developing into one, one of my new characters. And Pantera Equatoriana, his partner, facing uh, Alberto de Rio's brother, Hijo de Dos Caras, and the Rebel Noriega, are like two bad guys facing uh, two good guys. My creation, uh, uh, the Ecuadorian Panther, that was my first name that I used when I, when I started in the business, when I was like 14 years old. And Boricua Guerrero, which, which means in English, uh, the, the, the Puerto Rican warrior. And uh, it's building up to be a, a, a very strong uh, uh, and, and, and with good, solid wrestling uh, wrestler. And Sonny Velvet Hall says, Hugo, bro, you rule. Thank you very much. Also, Nocturno Jimmy says, hello from Chicago. Is there any chance to Rey Mysterio come back to WWE? Well, in the wish list of WWE, that, that was one of the names that was mentioned. Rey Mysterio. But Rey Mysterio, we have an article in Lucha Libre Online. Where, where Ray Mysterio said that he, he, he never closed he never closed the door with WWE, but for him to go into a full time schedule, it will not happen. His wife and Ray Mysterio they're very happy with what's going on, and for WWE to make it happen, it's going to have to be a great 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 deal. Perhaps something he said like the one Jericho has, and before our time runs out, Royal Rumble. I think uh, last Monday when Asuka made it known that she, that she is also participated in the Royal Rumble. It puts bigger pressure in the storyline. Two years undefeated in NXT. Then she comes to the to to uh, to uh, Raw, and now she's going to be in the first ever female Royal Rumble. What are you going to do? Are you going to give her the win at the Royal Rumble, or by not by if she doesn't win, will this hurt uh, her personality? I mean, the, the, the ability of the fans to perceive her as somebody that's undefeated, would that hurt her? And it, will there be any surprises there? Also, with the, with the traditional Royal Rumble, will that be the night where we are going to be shocked by a, a new entrance of somebody that we've been waiting for? And we're also waiting to see the walk-in story. Matt Hardy, uh, Brother Nero, what is going to happen with Matt and, and, and Brother Nero? And also with Bray Wyatt. It will be finally the time where Bray Wyatt gets the right push. Are we going to see in 2018 finally a good push and good storylines for the king of strong style, Nakamura? And what's going to happen with Finn Balor? Is it going to be Finn Balor? Is it going to be the demon? What is going to happen? And, and, and are we going to have a year of just uh, the same... Uh, of WWE or Vince McMahon and his creative team are going to get it together to give us one of the best years. They have the talent and I believe it's a matter of, 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 of just putting it together and if he has to fire some people from the creative or put somebody else on, in control, then you got to do what you got to do. Uh, one more comment, Diana? 
One more. Jason Lebron said, Jericho is the only wrestler who's reinvented himself over and over. Yes. He's a genius. We want to wish everybody a very, very happy new year. May 2018 um, be your best year yet. Uh, excuse me, I, think I was reading something from our, our uh, what was the question again? No, no question. Just, to ask, just wishing everybody a really well, happy new year. Thank you very year. much. We're just being informed by Javier Gonzalez from uh, Lucha Libre Online that Paige hurt herself today. This is just received. It's, uh, we just received the news. In a house show, Paige has just suffered uh, an injury. Uh, they stopped the match and they had to help her back to the backstage. So this has just been received in a live event. Uh, Paige got injured, they stopped the match, and they had to bring her back to the backstage. This has just been received right now. Paige injured, brought back to the dressing room. Also, Brian Kendrick, he was, uh, uh, he was hurt. Uh, uh, the GTS of the Japanese star it Itami uh, is the second wrestler that he has injured. And uh, we have to, uh, you know, analyze uh, what is going on, if it's something with the timing or what's going on with that. Before we go off the air, uh, just received right now, Paige uh, got injured in a house show. WWE officials stopped the match, and she was held back to the backstage. Uh, stay, uh, stay tuned to your page where you are watching this right now, and they will bring you the latest. Uh, for Diana, the Dangerous Blonde, and Hugo Savinovich, uh, this has been the Atangana, Atangana Show. Take care and Atangana!